Alright, in this video I'm going to teach you how to add codes to your Roblox game. So, first thing we need to do is make a code GUI. So, in start a GUI, we're going to add a screen GUI. Then I'm going to turn on, ignore GUI and set, and I'm going to call it codes. And then in this code screen GUI, I'm going to click plus again, and I'm going to add a text button, and I'm going to add a frame. Now, I'm just going to move these, and then I'm just going to make the anchor point 0.5, call 0.5. Again, position it in the middle, and then I'm just going to change the size a bit. Then I'm just going to customise it slightly, but you don't have to. And now I've customised my GUIs, I'm just going to go into this frame and I'm going to add a text label, I'm going to add a text button, and I'm going to add a text box. Right, now for this text label, first of all, I'm going to make the size 1, 0, 0, 0, and then I'm going to make the background transparency 1, and again, just customise it slightly, and then I'm just going to change the text to say codes, so you can tell that this is indeed the code's GUI. And then for the text box, I am going to put this in the center of our GUI, of our frame, sorry. And then I'm just to put our button at the bottom, and I'm going to make it say, redeem. Right, so now in our text box here, I'm going to go into the properties, and I'm just going to change the placeholder text to enter code. So, you can see it says enter code in our text box here, and I'm just going to change the font. Right, so now you can see we've got our code GUI here. We can now make this frame not visible and we can start scripting it. So just add a local script into our code starter GUI and I'm just going to call this local script codes script and I'm also going to add an event in replicated storage, a remote event and I'm going to call this redeem code and then I'm going to add a script serve script in serve script service and I'm going to call that codes. Right. So now in our code script, we're going to start off by making a few variables. So for example, local frame equals script.parent.frame and then local button equals script.parent.text button. Right, so first of all, I'm just going to make it open our codes frame whenever this button's pressed. So how we can do that is button, not mouse, button one click, colon connect function. And then we're going to say frame.visible equals not frame.visible. So what this is going to do is make the frame visibility what it currently isn't. So if it is visible, it's going to make it not visible. If it's not, not visible, it's going to make it visible. Right. So now I'm going to say frame dot text button dot mouse button one click colon connect function. So what this is going to do is this is going to run every time we click the redeem button. It's going to run this code. So what we're going to say, first of all, is we're going to get the text in the text box. So local text equals frame dot text box dot text and then we're going to say game dot replicated storage dot redeem code colon fire server and in these brackets we're going to give it the text right so now we can go over to our server script now the first thing we're going to do is get data store service because we're going to want to be saving all of the codes that the player has redeemed so game colon get service data store service and then we want to get a code store. So local code store equals data store service colon get store, get data store, sorry. And then in these brackets, we just want to say code store. And finally, we just going to say local HTTP service. So local HTTP service equals game colon get service HTTP service. Now we are going to create a variable. So local codes. So this is for our codes. We're going to make a table and then in here i'm going to create a table for each of our codes so we're going to have our codes add cash to the player so what we're going to do is i'm just going to make a code for 100 cash and have it equal to 100 because it's going to give our player 100 cash right so i'm just going to leave it as one for now but you can add as many of these as you like and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to say game.players.player added on connect function and in, in these brackets i'm just going to take the player object and then I can open up this function, and first of all, we want to get the codes that they've previously used. So how I'm going to do that is say local codes equals HTTP service colon JSON decode. And then in these brackets, we're going to say code store colon get async, and then in these brackets, we're going to say player dot user ID. So now we want to make sure if these codes actually exist. So how we can do that is say if not codes, then codes. I'm just going to set that equal to an empty table. Right. So now we want to have an event that fires every time this redeem code event is triggered. So game dot replicate storage dot redeem code dot on server event colon connect function player triggered and then a comma and then code. 
Right. So, first of all, we need to check if the player that's triggered it is our player. So, if player triggered equals equals player, then we want to check if the code exists. So, if codes, and then a square brackets, and then code, then, then we should say else print code dot dot does not exist. But if it does exist, then we want to say if not table dot find, and then codes, and then a comma, and then code, then, so if, if the code exists, and if the player has not yet redeemed it, then, you want to first of all table dot insert codes, and then code, so insert this into their redeemed codes, and then we want to say player dot leader stats dot hash dot value plus equals codes, and then a square bracket, and then code. So, what this is doing, oh, by the way, you need to change this to whatever value you are adding to. So, for me, it's just going to be a cache value in the player. So, now, we want to make sure that this is saved. So, this code redeem table is saved whenever the player leaves the game. So, you wouldn't generally do this, but how we're going to do this is in this player added function, we're going to add a game.players, not player removing event. So, colon connect function, and then in these brackets, we're going to take the player leaving, then we're going to say if player leaving is our player, then we're just going to say code store colon set async pair of brackets and then the key. So that's the player's user ID. So player dot user ID and then a comma and then HTTP service colon JSON in code. Then in these brackets we want to give our code table. So now I'm just going to quickly add some lines at the top of this just to give our player the cache value in their leader stats, because I don't already have that, but if you do, you can skip this step. Right, so now, we're just going to play test our game, so click on play. Oh, what's rare here? Argument 1 missing or nil. Our player doesn't already have data saved, this isn't going to work. So how we can make this work, is we're just going to go ahead and cut this, so get rid of it, and then we're going to say local data equals, and then paste that, and then we're just going to get rid of this, and then we're going to say if data, then code equals HTTP service colon JSON decode data else codes equals these squiggly brackets for a table and then we just delete this oh and one thing we've done wrong here is we've created two variables called codes now how we can fix that is we're just going to change the name of codes to codes redeemed on this line and then you copy and paste that here here and here and here and finally, here. So, just make sure you replace codes with codes redeemed everywhere there. Right, so now if we play our game, you can see that if I click codes, and click, or and type in 100 cash, and click redeem, I get 100 cash. But if I click it again, you can see that I don't get it because I've already redeemed it. And then if I leave the game, and join again, you'll be able to see that if I go to codes and enter 100 cash, it does not redeem still, because I've already redeemed it. And the only reason cache is still zero is because I'm not saving the cache value. But we are saving the codes that have been redeemed. So that was how you can add codes to your Roblox game. If you found this helpful, then please subscribe. Anyways, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.